So I get the call to mix some records. And I was working with Mob Deep for a while, and we weren't mixing those songs, which meant they weren't close to finishing the album. So I get a call. Yo, remember those songs you recorded, you know, whatever time ago? Yeah. Can you come in and mix those? Yes, I can. So I get in there, and uh, I'm listening to the tracks. Like, oh, yeah, I remember when we did this. Yeah, yeah, we'll do this, we'll do this. And there was another engineer who, I guess for now, we'll, we'll just leave him nameless. He was against, like, putting any kind of anything. He just wanted to mix the actual records. So I was like, well, the song is called Quiet Storm. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a storm. We're going to do this. We're going to make his voice sound like a megaphone or a telephone or some kind of phone. And we're going to do that. We're going to do that. And the other engineer was like, no, we're not. No, we're not doing anything like that. I was like, well, yeah, we, they asked me to mix. So that's what we're going to do. So I put the storm in and I did that little effect to, to P's vocal and then the bass line, I faded the bass line and the piano was up slowly. You know, I wanted it to be real dramatic because of what he was going to say with that first verse. So then when, uh, you know, and I'm a DJ too, so I'm thinking about how the record is going to drop, how the DJ could drop it. So that's why the snare comes in, whap, I put my lifetime in between because I knew right away that if Funkmaster Flex got his hands on it or any DJ, He's cutting that all day. And of course he was. So I fade the music up, drop the snare, beat, history on the record. And the funny part about it is that the mob wasn't there when I was doing all that. They were, you know, busy doing publicity for the new album and all that stuff. So when they came in to hear the mix, they're like, what song is this? And I'm like, oh, just listen. And then whap, when that snare dropped, the whole crew. Yes, yes, son, yeah, done, yeah, done. I'm like, word, that's what it is. I'm looking at the other engineer like, see, man, that's what it is. And it was another record we mixed at the same time. And I'm going to show you something about the music business. Uh, it was a, sh a record called by Big Noid called Shit That He Said. And I mixed that one too, right? And the other engineer and his assistant, they fell asleep during that mix. So I ended up mixing that one all by myself, which I love. I love doing it by myself. The next day, the manager was like, yo, every record has to sound like that record. Now, this is the thing about the music business. Right there was my chance to, to kill that other engineer and take his gig and his money and his whatever. But I ain't do that. I'm a man of integrity. So I said, yeah, well, I'll just make sure all the ones that I work on sound like that. So just a little, you know, perspective on and ain't always about you know cutting people and all that stuff because me I got integrity I don't chase the money I don't chase the credit I chase the dream and that's it you know that's it so that was mob there's a lot of other things but that's the mob you know what I'm saying we got it in and made a classic together it was beautiful